welcome to Epic Talks Behind the Curtains. I'm your host, Jada Monet, and I'm here with Adara. Hello. How are you? I am great. How are you? I am well, thank you. And we're live here at the Riverside Epi Center for the 2024 BCI Conference. So you just got off stage. Yes, I did. How was that? It was phenomenal. Honestly, I'm still trying to process all that was said. It was like fire in there, girl. It was crazy. <laughs> just to, just the speakers like myself mm-hmm. who were on there and the people, just the wisdom that was shared, you know, surrounding yes. being a Christian content creator, you know, being a creative. It was just powerful. That's awesome. So I know you said you're a creative. So could you dive more into that? What exactly, um, what type of content do you make exactly? Yeah. So I'm a social media influencer slash content creator who focuses on all things family, marriage, love, um, you know, traditional biblical values, Mm -hmm. but in a way that inspires and uplifts and uses humor. So (laughs) I talk a lot about being a full time wife and mom Mm -hmm. surrounding taking care of my husband as he takes care of me and our beautiful (laughs) little children. And so I use humor. And sometimes like outrageous videos and (laughs) music and, you know, all the things to kind of show people that it's okay for black women specifically to be stay at home moms, Mm -hmm. to live a very soft and delicate life, to let our black men be black men and take care of us. Mm -hmm. Right. (laughs) And that being a wife and mom is 100 percent a role in a job that doesn't need anything added to it to Mm -hmm. validate it or make it worth being something you pursue. Right. That is awesome. So as far as um, your content, when exactly did you start? Did, was it when you got married or was it a little bit before you got married? So it's interesting enough. I've been a social media content creator since 2014, but I didn't always start out talking about marriage. So I was very much single, like dollar bill single. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I talked a lot about waiting on God, like mm-hmm. trusting him with your relationships, mm-hmm. having had terrible relationships myself, you know, kissing a few toads on the road to finding your prince for me. So back in the days, like 2013, 2014, a lot of my content was surrounding that, like a newly fully devoted Christian, like, I mean, like on fire for God, for real, for real, not Mm -hmm. playing one foot in, one foot out and trusting God with my relationships. And so a lot of the content was to encourage single women like myself, right? Because you're posting, but it's also for you too. Right. (laughs) And so I posted a lot about that. And then I met my husband in 2016 at a conference, something like this, that I was was not going to go to. (laughs) I was not going to go to the conference. And my mom was like, you need to go. You never know who you might meet. Mm. Wow. Always listen to your mother. Right. <laughs> and so we met at a conference. We got married mm-hmm. eight months later. That wow. was 2017. We've been happily and healthily married ever since. Mm-hmm. And so my content has kind of shifted over time. I started mm-hmm. out when we first got married, I was still working. Mm-hmm. Um, and over time, we figured out that we can make things work. We can be on a one income family and thrive. And our values were to raise our children mm-hmm. in a more traditional setting, modern traditional setting where Mom is nurturer and caregiver. Dad Mm -hmm. is provider. We have two daughters. Oh, that's beautiful. just to be able to share that with other people. And and so, you know, by God's grace, my little following has expanded. And so there's been people that have seen the progression from, Mm -hmm. like, from its inception when I used to make little crazy memes about Mm -hmm. being, like, you know, a woman in waiting, like, when is God going to send my Mr. Right? You know, like tired of kissing the toes, things like that. And so now the content has kind of shifted to being more in this place of settled as a wife, as a mom, being more seasoned, walking in the wisdom of nurturing my family and just excited for whatever the future may hold for us. Oh, wow. That is awesome. So what advice would you give to um, a single woman in their waiting season like myself? (laughs) Yes. So, you know, I, I always start with knowing who you are and what you want. Right. I think a lot of times as women, especially black women, we are not specific. We just want a man. But you have to be very specific in your prayers. And Mm -hmm. little plug, I wrote a book, um, Letters to Your Husband. Mm -hmm. It was inspired by my journal that I wrote, prayers that I wrote while I was single. So people asked me to make like a version that they can have for themselves. Mm -hmm. My little Dollar Tree (laughs) notebook turned into a a phenomenon. (laughs) <laughs> and so um, I share that to say, like, I was very specific. I knew that I wanted a true man of God, like not a church goer that was playing right. church. I wanted someone that was in the word and walking with mm. God. And that also meant reorienting my taste in men. So when I say knowing who you are, 
letting God work in you and like yes. beautify you so you know who you are and your worth before that man comes. And he's an addition to yes. everything you already have. So my advice to any single woman would to be lock into who God has made you to be like, trust him to bring you the person and be specific with what you ask for. If you yes. want a provider, be specific. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and, and don't be afraid to like, be open and vulnerable with God. Like mm-hmm. I knew from my past experiences what I could absolutely not handle again. Mm-hmm. Like certain heartbreak, I just refused, you know? And, yes. and so I was very specific in that. Like, God, I cannot deal with infidelity. You know, I can't deal with any type of abuse. Like if we disagree and we shout at each other, okay. But there's just certain yes. boundaries that I have now having grown. God, send me a man that's going to honor those boundaries. Mm-hmm. And so... God, I answered my prayers, my loving husband. He's a pastor, Bishop D.A. Sharon. Shout out to my baby. I love you. (laughs) Um, And so, you know, I was very specific and I encourage other women to be that way too. That is beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for having me. (laughs) So where can the people find you on social media? Well, I'm everywhere. I'm on Instagram, (laughs) TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, at Adara the Explorer everywhere. Look me up. I'm friendly. I respond. I make people laugh. Well, thank you so much again. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you you for having me.